WTFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This, of course, is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's take a look at uh, where we ended up for the day. The composites off about 0.36%. Dow Jones Industrial finishing up above the 42,000 level, which is pretty good psychologically. Uh, the DXY at 175, trading a little bit up in its higher range, but still uh, low there at 100. Brings some stability uh, in the market. Just takes away a variable there. Uh, crude oil trading uh, at 71.25 off about 0.13%. Uh, that E-mini off about 0.27%, trading at 5,762. Gold finishing the day uh, uber strong, uh, 2,646 off from the high, all-time high in the daily high of 2,651. Copper trading at 433 on that Ford contract, which is fantastic for it. Uh, silver at 3147. Uh, Dow futures, we just went over the Dow, but still off a little bit, kind of sideways right now. Let's take a look. Banks doing okay. Lucid getting smoked just a tad, but very volatile stock. I wonder, honestly, there's probably a way to play this one too, <laughs> especially when you see a chart like that. Pretty nice. Uh, Meta up about 0.47. Uh, someone in the den said something was Apple was reacting negatively. I think John said that. See if I don't know. Speak volumes today. Nice. Well, it's trading off right now about 0.16, closing at 22.82. Uh, I can't see anything after the market right now. Um, interesting. None the less. Oh, let's take a look and see if there's anything we can raise up on a little bit before uh, we go off for the air today. And this is going to be a much needed weekend, everyone. Thank you for being patient with us, moving. Uh, these offices it's gonna be fantastic and again tom will be back let's talk a little bit about walmart which is super interesting uh it's like we're going back to checks again but without the actual check which is pretty crazy so walmart yeah trading up 1.31 percent it's planning instant bank payments cutting out card networks very interesting aims at reducing customer risk of nsf or overdraft fees retail partners uh, retailer partners with visser to upgrade pay by bank option. So yeah, if you feel comfortable giving Walmart just straight up your bank number, that's cool. I think you probably were if you're giving checks to people in the past. We speak a lot about cybersecurity when I fill in, so do your due diligence on that. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great week. And we'll be back Monday, 9 a.m. Tommy O'Brien, the morning market kickoff, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesvento, and then our man, Tom O'Brien at 3 p.m. Take care.